Fast cars are taking over Nashville this weekend for the Big Machine Music City Grand Prix. Due to the threat of severe weather, the Toyota GR Cup race was canceled. News 2's Nick McGee has been out and about in the action all day long, and she has more on fans who are excited to learn this won't be the last year for IndyCar in Music City. Well, as you can see, we had a wet wrap up to tonight's event just a little while ago. Nissan Stadium did lift their shelter in place. However, the Music City Grand Prix did have to cancel one of their races. They're working to reschedule that in the morning, but some good news. Flo Rida was able to go on as usual. He just had to start his show a few minutes early and tonight's fans are glad to know this isn't the last year they'll be able to catch IndyCar in their city. It's really cool, really technical. There they go. Saturday, thousands took to the stands to watch the Titans turf turned racetrack. Very nice to see it live. They're, they're very fast and very loud here. <laughs> and this year, Music City learned this wouldn't be the last time we see IndyCar in Nashville. I worked at Talladega for security for about 15 years. And had to see this come here, this is, this is really awesome. I think it's awesome that it's a local, kind of a local, even areas around that can come and see it. Starting next year, Nashville will play host to the IndyCar season finale. It's huge for Nashville. It's huge for IndyCar uh, to see the growth of this event over the first three years uh, and to be recognized by IndyCar and the motorsports industry. With anticipated stadium construction, the racetrack will move even closer for some. It's such an honor to move the season finale here and to crown a champion in Nashville. It's, uh, you know, it's an honor for us and it's an honor for city and it's going to be quite a party next year racing down Broadway. For others, this announcement is personal. That means it's huge for the city that I grew up in all of a sudden now just become a huge city now. I feel like this is the justification of a huge city. And they hope others will grow to love the sport as much as they have. A little bit like the National Predators. Nobody knew about hockey when they came, but now everybody loves them. So it's just, I feel like it's going to be one of those sports. I feel like more people will attend. Gates will reopen bright and early tomorrow morning at 7.30, and the first race is slated to begin at 9.15. From Nissan Stadium, I'm Nikki McGee, News 2.